Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a uh, game review, and this time around I'm reviewing the game Grid 2. So, I was uh, asked to review Grid 2 by uh, YouTube user Agatho Jordan 38 So, I hope you pronounced it right. And uh, by your request, Grid 2, here's the review. And uh, really, not just Agatho Jordan 38 but I hope everyone enjoys it. So, personally, I'm not into racing games really that much. I'm not a huge racing fan. I have had racing games in the past. Uh, I've played them, not a huge fan. However, I'm not against them. However, with Grid 2, it does literally throw you in at the deep end. You start the game off by having a race. This, I didn't know much about really. Uh, so like I say, it did throw me in at the deep end. Uh, it had to be like, you know, put down your tea. You're in a race, you know. It had to be, you know, deep end, action packed straight off the start. Like I say, I wasn't aware of the race that was about to happen. I was too busy admiring uh, the cutscene and the scenery in the nice video. Then all of a sudden I'm in a race. While you're in uh, in the race, there's somebody in your ear, your friend, um, is telling you all about a thing called flashbacks. Now, the friend who put you in the race, it describes what a flashback is. Um, I obviously didn't know about this. Whether it was in Grid 1, I do not know. However... Listening to it and being described about it, I thought it was pretty good. And a flashback is Grid 2's version of Rewind, really. So in, when you're in the game and, uh, say, you crash, you bump a car, or you don't like your run of how the car's going, and you press flashback, and uh, well, it takes you back a certain amount of seconds, uh, and you press the button again to start over, really. So it's almost like a mulligan in golf. However, in Grid 2, it's called the flashback. In Grid 2, the first race, I was not very good at it. First time I did it, I finished 5th, so not the greatest start really. However, it was still good to get a good rapport with my friend. The next cutscene of the game was my race on YouTube, which really was pretty cool. I've never seen YouTube used in a game, and to use it like this is pretty good. It's the 21st century really, and um, this generation has camera phones, and they can post videos on YouTube within a matter of minutes. And to see YouTube used like this in a game is unique, it's different, and it was pretty cool, really. So with the use of YouTube in the game, apparently a guy likes my racing so much. I impressed him, apparently, which is good, and uh, he wants me to race for him. So, happy days, really. I did notice, a side note uh, from the racing, I did notice that while I was creating my username and uh, my account for the game, a smooth, soulful song was playing in the background. It was almost like the ending to a sad moment in a film. Rather than a racing game, account creator. So that was a bit odd. Your account's been set up and the soulful music has stopped. Uh, you get to choose your difficulty level. And also gives you the amount of damage to a car uh, that you will see and feel. And what will affect the game. Pretty cool really. I set mine all too easy. And so that there was light damage on. I think it was none at all actually that I chose. Um, however in game... This was different because I did actually see the damage in my car. So whether that was a fact or not, I don't really know. A bit annoying, really, because uh, I did set it to have no visible or physical damage. And uh, I could still tell that the car was pulling to the left and that doors, windows, body parts of the car were no longer attached. So... Once everything's done, all the driver's details and settings of the game have been done, you are then invited to race against the leader of the new union. Uh, you are then in your car, which is an old school Ford Mustang. The car drives and feels like an old sort of car, so no sort of power steering or any sort of assistance. The car does feel a bit heavy and also slow to any of my commands of movement, acceleration, brake. I mean, this is good really, in a way, because it is an old school Ford Mustang so it's showing the realistic driving aspect of the old school car. So with the race of the leader and the new unions all I had to do was finish in the top three. The flashback bar was there again which was a good touch. The bar of the flashback, the flashback bar did fill up with any sort of good actions of driving that I accomplished. It did in all honesty take me a few attempts to get into the top three which was the goal set before the race but I did manage it and using the flashback bar uh, it was pretty good, it was good that it was there and it was very useful and helpful in winning the race. So as you get better as a racer, more clubs get to know how better you are. They also sort of recognise you 
and they also want to race you, which is good. Um, you get more noticeable and recognised, so there's more challenges to beat, accomplish uh, new teams and races to yeah. beat. Also, as you get better and you beat more leaders, more groups, more teams, like the new union, you get to unlock different cars and also uh, different sponsors. These sponsors, uh, they set you challenges and tasks to do in the race. So uh, one of mine was to drift, I think it was more than 50 foot, and uh, managed to do it. And you get a little bonus from the sponsor once you've done it. The custom character, so the character I created for the game, uh, seems to be based out of his own garage, with his computer in the basement slash garage as his main source of information. This felt very down to earth, uh, almost like a backyard street racer, who out of his garage, out of his home, out of his basement, uh, was making a name for himself and it felt a bit more challenging, a bit more comfortable. Um, and realistic really it wasn't like it was a settled formula one racer you know he was a he was a guy from the streets who's making a name for himself on youtube on the internet getting fans that way which is cool you know i enjoyed that it did take me a while to win my first race it took me three races to actually win my first however it did feel good when i won a race and uh, the first status was accomplished well, good. Once you complete one set of races, so there's usually three races per challenge, let's say. Once you complete all them and you get enough points and enough fans, then you move on to the next one and it unlocks a new challenge. Obviously these are more different, uh, which makes them more challenging and different and uh, a good feel really. So you've moved on, you're not you're not down doing just basic races, you know, you've moved on, you're more of a better street racer. The uh, second set of challenges that I managed to unlock uh, was a one-on-one -on -one race. Uh, the winner progressed and uh, with each race I, uh, you had to improve the paces, which was cool, you know, it's a one-on-one, -on -one. it's not like there's any other people. Uh, they were quite challenging actually and fun. I did notice that um, the races I played, they take place in Chicago, Miami and California. The action of the races are good, the cars look very realistic and lifelike and so do the surroundings and the scenery uh, of the races of where they take place. So it looked like Chicago, Miami and California. The downside of the game, there aren't many, but it is the obvious ones really. Sometimes there's too much wheel spinning, uh, you can lose control too easy. And, uh, I noticed that you can't push the opponents around like they can push you. Um, there was times when I would drive into the side, the back side, where it's the, I think it's called the pit manoeuvre, where it's the back quarter, the rear quarter of the car, you nudge it, and the car would sometimes spin out of control. However, when I tried to do it, nothing. Uh, the car was strong, it was on a path, and it wouldn't seem to be nudged. However, if they nudged you, then you could spin out of control, you bounce up one wall into the other, and you know, your history. So, there is a siding almost. The game almost sides with them, the opponent, uh, when it comes to contact and collisions. But overall Grid 2 is an enjoyable car racing game. Even uh, Grid 2, I found even that Grid 2 is enjoyable for someone like me who isn't the biggest car racing fan. There are many cars to unlock, upgrades and modifications to the cars in so many different ways. Um, very fun to modify a car. Uh, however, Grid 2, I did find it really enjoyable really uh, I did enjoy playing the game even though I'm not a huge car racing fan so if you're a car racing fan this uh, and you like this street racing aspect and the down to earth feel of racing out of your garage then this game is really for you guys thanks for watching my review of Grid 2 hope you like it Agatho Jordan 38 I hope you like it I mean you requested it that uh, I review the game so hope you like it uh, anybody else if you want to request a game that uh, you want me to review then by all means put it down in the comments but thanks for watching my review of Grid 2 hope you like it also guys use promo code TOBYWTD any read the voted gear or the links down below as per usual but thanks for watching my review of Grid 2 hope you like it the realistic and earthy earthy ah fuck earthy